to explain this play, we have to go a minute back in time. And no, not to this moment. But here, Tyron Lue just called the timeout with the score at a deadlock. Tyron Lue is here. He's giving his players a moment's rest and coming up with a play to run to break the stalemate. As he is thinking, LeBron waves him down and points at Kyrie, essentially saying, scrap your play, we're giving the ball to Kyrie, and that's final. The Cavs go in the game with the only adjustment being bringing Richard Jefferson in for Tristan Thompson for spacing. LeBron is in the inbound spot and is already directing the offense on what to do. And as soon as he inbounds the ball to Kyrie, he walks all the way to the corner, bringing his defender with him and opening up all the space for Kyrie. As that happens, JR hits Clay with a perfectly timed screen to force the switch. I cannot exaggerate how perfect this is. Clay is so paranoid the screen is coming and expects it to come from the right. And in that mere second, he peeks over his right shoulder, he gets whacked from the left. And the Cavs get the switch they want. Curry reacts quickly to the screen, jumping Kyrie hard, forcing him to retreat a little and survey the court. That prompts RJ to immediately leave the wing for the opposite corner to give Kyrie more space. If he didn't do this, his defender easily could have helped contest the shot. But he didn't, and we all know what happens next. Irving and Curry, one on one. Irving puts it up. It's good! Kyrie Irving from downtown! This was a shot Kyrie was willing to take. This is Earn Your Ranks, where we only talk about ball. Signing off.